Hey, when making this outline for Lighthouse, I got inspiration from the real deal, Tortilli's Lighthouse in Greece. I used IT technology for the first time when making dioramas by making an app which switches on the Lighthouse light. As always before starting, I collect the materials and technologies that will make the process super realistic but also relatively quick. I made the C from epoxy resin, the clip from styrofoam and printed the Lighthouse on a 3D printer. I begin with the diorama base. I make it from bobinga wood using a heat cutter to cut the right size styrofoam base which I glue into the wooden frame. With metallic brush, I rough up the styrofoam surface so that the sculptor mold grabs on the better. I'm getting a lot of questions about what to sub for the sculptor mold. It doesn't shrink as it dries and mimics the earth surface really well. Time for the cliff, which I'm making from styrofoam. First, I cut separate chunks of approximate sides which are glued together. Then, just like a sculptor, I begin to cut off whatever is unnecessary. Cut to create the right form and then initiate the texture of stone, at which point I'm not cutting the styrofoam chunks but digging into them. To get better idea of what I'm doing, I pan the whole cliff. The cliff is high and stairs led to the lighthouse. I make them from miniature clay bricks which I have prepped ahead of the time. I'm cutting space for the stairs. Now let's glue it with a tight bond glue. It's clear that the current form is insufficient. I add separate pieces to the current model. The next stage is plucking with tweezers. Weird as that sounds, the effect is phenomenal. Now I'm working on freshly glued styrofoam chunks. I can easily make changes at any time, that's the best part about styrofoam, along with its affordability, simplicity and accessibility. Rugs have appeared and I caulk them with sculptor mold, which is the best material for mimicking pretty much any soil surface. I'm painting the sea with water undercoat from Woodland Scenics, but you can sub it in with any ordinary acrylic paint. As a foundation, I poured around plaster base. I make a hole for the future communications. Before painting, I cover up all the joints and modify the relief. For the glyph base, I'm mixing two paint colors from Vallejo. I'm painting all the surface cliff areas. Painting this cliff involved several stages. I added new colors gradually, checking the lighthouse peak constantly, since I don't want to, to just copy it. Burnt hay really transforms the cliff appearance and adds great contrast. After the painting is done, I add dark sections and paint jetting edges a dark grey. I tried to build the lighthouse from mini bricks, but sadly I didn't like the outcome. It took forever too. In the end, I modeled it in 3D and printed it off. To keep the bricks light and the cement mix between them black, I begin by painting the entire lighthouse a dark olive. It looks awful considering that it's supposed to be a light beige. Then I use light grey and carefully paint just the stones, not the seams. After drying, I add the final layer with an airbrush, but I do it so the lighthouse has just the right hue. See, the stones are the appropriate color and the seams between them are a bit darker. I put frames into windows and glue in transparent plastic from inside to mimic glass. Now let's glue both the RAM parts, the sea and the cliff. I also smear the dip beneath the electronics with sculptor mold. After all the parts have dried and are tightly glued, I work on the joint between cliff and bottom, still using sculptor mold. After the painting and total drying, it's time to pour the resin. I made the casing from plexiglass and added sealant to the seams. I made a blueprint and built an app. For an app interface, I illustrated the lighthouse in the varying states. The circuit contains two diodes, Arduino Pro Micro, Bluetooth Model 4.0 and voltage converter up to 5 volts. Instead of a battery, you can just use the power supply from an old phone. For the lamp, I'm using a small LED. To make it bigger, I poured a rubber lamp mold. 
I fill the form with resin and stick the light in. After hardening, it becomes a bigger diode, which resembles a lighthouse light. I make the lamp base from plaster, paint it metallic and wrap the joint with a thin wire painted copper. I'm using water ripples from Woodland Scenics for making waves on the water's surface. I make different wave types with various brushes. A hard brush gives the ripples and soft one makes small waves. A styrofoam piece makes a good texture on wavelets. Right by the cliff base I use water effects to mimic the look of water. The material consistency is like lotion, so it's easy to work with and shape the right form. After it dries it becomes totally transparent. Water effects makes it easy to create different waterfalls. In fact, that's the beauty of it. The material is really maneuverable and predictable, also really good for the water surface details. With a micromark cutter I cut wooden strips to build the lighthouse door. I try to add as many details as possible, gluing cross beams and adding fading and dirt with a dry brush. A piece of wire surfaced as the door handle. I paint a modeling plastic from aero green with a glossy finish. This will make the door hinges. The door is ready. The hinges glint from different angles just like the real thing. I'm fastening the diet wires and putting up the lighthouse tower. The top color is white but the frame is black. I dry brush the edges with light grey, so it looks like metal. With the Canvas Workspace app from Brothers, I draw the glass forms. I put a sticky mat of transparent plastic into a cutter plotter, launch the glass file and click start. The plotter accurately cuts the right glass size. Now we just have to make them dusty. With a heavily diluted white paint, I cover them completely. When the paint dries a bit, I remove the excess with a napkin. You end up with a thin dusty layer. I'm putting it all together and painting the roof. I add streaks near the lightning rod mount. The mount is made from miniature wooden strips. I drill holes for the steel lightning rod cable. The last bit for the sea is adding foam. This time I'm using Vallejo's acrylic paint for texture. I dry brush the jutting water edges by the cliff, shaped with water effects. There should be more foam where the waves touch the cliff. Then I randomly make crest further away. The picture is almost complete and looks pretty authentic. Now we just have to close up the lens with its top and connect the lightning rod. The carefully selected figures add realism to the composition and make it look just like a functioning lighthouse. The lighthouse diorama is complete. The main lens light and inner light are controlled by the iPhone app. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.